Bedrock and gold mining. Well guys, why is bedrock important when you're out gold mining? <laughs> Alright, for today's video I have a little slab of bedrock. Just robbed it from the yard decorations right there. We'll put it back when we're done. Well, the first couple years that I went out prospecting, I didn't really have a clue what the important part about bedrock was. The first couple years that I went out gold prospecting, I dug through a telling pile, so it really didn't matter too much. But I did hear people talking about bedrock, and I really didn't understand what was the importance of it. So guys, why is bedrock important? Let's use our imaginations and we'll pretend like this is the river out here and there's water flowing and this is the bank right here and we're on the high side and yeah some of it's river gravel and stuff but then you come across a piece of exposed bedrock like this well there's a pretty decent chance of stuff over here you can dig down and also find bedrock it's just covered up with gravel but a good sign when you're out prospecting is is when you see bedrock you always want to check that out and the reason that it's important is because well gold is heavy and it tends to work itself all the way down to the bottom and if you're in a gold bearing area and nobody has ever dug it out before and you're the first guy there to take a sample and prospect it out there's a pretty decent chance that uh, hey you might find some gold and it might be pretty good gold all my best gold discoveries have, has always been on bedrock guys that's where I've always done my best and the reason is, is because well the gold gets all the way down at the bottom of the bedrock and it's got nowhere else to go it gets in these cracks here it starts piling it up could you imagine discovering a deposit that has been piled up for hundreds of thousands of years I can and that would be freaking sweet so that's the reason why bedrock is important guys is because it's the very bottom of the river and once the gold gets all the way down to the bottom it's not going anywhere unless some of this stuff gets eroded and breaks away and then the gold will scurry off and it will go to the next spot that it gets caught up but bedrock is always a good sign because it's the bottom of the river and uh, once you get the bedrock it's not going any deeper so if it's a gold bearing area and nobody has ever got to it before it's definitely worth looking into so guys that's one of my huge hints for looking for good gold is uh, find that bedrock and explore it. Now I better put these away before I uh, lose them. So like I said earlier in the video, when I first started prospecting, I spent my first couple of years looking through telling piles and stuff like that. So I really didn't understand what the big importance of bedrock was. But then I went out to California and I discovered that when I found my best gold sluice box and along the river, it was always on bedrock. And that's the same way it goes when I'm dredging. When I find my best gold, it's always down on bedrock. Now I found some pretty decent gold before and it hasn't been on bedrock, but it's always there's always a hard layer underneath of it whether it's a false bedrock or something like that all right guys thanks for checking out the video well to put an ending on it i'll just say that bedrock is important because it's the very bottom of the river it's the hardest surface around and uh, gold is heavy and tends to work itself all the way down to the bottom of the river and once that gold hits the bedrock well it's not going anywhere unless uh, the bedrock erodes and breaks away which happens but it takes a very long time to do that and in that case when you find bedrock pieces that are loose and stuff always be sure to chip them off and break them away and really check out the cracks because uh, that's where the gold goes it goes all the way down into the cracks and uh, sometimes you can find a nice little piece there hanging out ready to be found all right guys thanks for checking out the video if you enjoyed it please consider smashing that subscribe button and i'll holler at you in the next one <laughs>